Welcome to Movie Flicks channel. Please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all new videos. Our film begins in the North Pole with a person named Overgard, and we know that his plane crashed in a frozen place in the middle of the mountains, and we see him trying to adapt to life in the ice, hoping that someone will come and save him and we see him digging in the snow until he reaches the bottom layer to write his request for help using holes in the ice. This is if any plane passes by and sees it helps him. Then he returns the drilling tools to the plane and goes to see if the rod caught any fish, he tightens the rope that was reaching the water below the ice, and he is actually able to fishing and put it in a box of ice, so that he can eat it later. He returns to the plane, cuts the fish, and eats it without cooking it because he does not have any fire, he thinks about how he was able to survive for so long and what he would have done if he had not fishing. After eating, he takes the communication device and climbs to the top of a mountain and tries to communicate with anyone. But unfortunately, he finds no response to his signals, at that time, he despairs and returns to the plane again, and when he takes off his shoes, we notice that his foot is worn out due to the snow, he wraps himself in the blanket well and then sleeps. On the second day, Overgard wakes up and goes to a place with a group of rocks and starts cleaning them, and we know that he buried his friend who was with him on the plane in this place, he used to visit him every day and talk to his grave. Then he goes to see if the rod catches any other fish, but he notices that the fish box is broken and the fish inside it are not there. He sees footprints on the ground of a polar bear, so he becomes afraid and runs to hide in the plane. On the second day, as usual, he takes the transmitter and goes up the mountain, trying to communicate with anyone, while at the same time watching the place around him for fear of the bear, when he does not find any response, as usual, he returns to the plane again, and before leaving, he sees the bear in the valley that ate his fish, and he is walking away, days pass as he repeats his daily routine, goes to his friend's grave, cleans the stones, eats the fish he catches, and tries to communicate with anyone through the transmitter, one day, he notices that the green signal is on the transmitter and knows that there is a plane near him. He looks around and searches for it, but faces difficulty due to the severe storms, indeed, he sees a helicopter close to him, so he signals them with a fire signal, and indeed they can see it. They approach him and he is very happy because he will finally be relieved of what he is in, but due to the severe storm, they lose control of the plane and it falls to the ground and crashes. He quickly goes to the plane to see if there is anyone alive. The pilot is pulled out, but discovers that he is already dead. He finds that the assistant is still alive, but she has suffered a major wound in her abdomen, he takes the first aid kit from the plane and treats it to stop the bleeding. Overgard sleeps next to her on the plane until the second day, he approaches her to make sure she is still alive. He searches the plane for any useful tools and finds a signal flare and a map of the North Pole, he decides to take her to his plane, but before he leaves, he writes on the plane that there are two people alive and writes the location of his plane, because if anyone searches for the helicopter, they can reach them easily. He returns to the plane carrying the girl, places her on the bed, reassures that her bleeding has stopped, sees her ID card, and learns information about her. When she wakes up, he gives her water and tries to talk to her until she can talk at all, he holds her hand and asks her to press her hand to make sure she is okay and will not faint again. Overgard decides to return to the plane again to bring the tools he found and any food to feed on, when he arrives, he buries the pilot in the snow and places rocks at his grave, he finds a bunch of other tools in the helicopter, including a lighter, and he is happy because he will finally get warm and eat good fish, he finds a photo of the injured girl and her family, so he takes it with him. Then he returns to his plane and places the photo he found on the plane next to the girl so that when she wakes up, she will find it, he lights a fire to finally feel warm after the harsh cold in the snow. At that time, he decides to take the girl and escape from the North Pole. He opens the map, determines his location on it, and calculates the distance between him and the farthest place he has reached, to the place where he was trying to escape from the North Pole. This place is marked with a red flag, and he will draw the rest of the road from the place of the flag until the point he wants to reach, which is called the seasonal station. He is hesitant and thinks because the distance is very far and because it will take many days to reach it. Then he goes to see if the rod caught any other fish and sees a very large fish and is happy because it is the first time he has caught a fish of this size, he takes it to cook with noodles he found in the helicopter. He tries to feed the girl and reassures her that there are definitely people she is looking for and they will reach them, 
he makes her hold his hand and squeeze it to reassure her that she is okay. After that, Overguard sets more than one hook to catch more fish and stores them because they will need them during their trip. After a few days, he begins preparing for the trip, gathering all the tools and food they will need, and leaves a piece of paper on the plane with his and the girl's details and the place they are going to. The same words are written on the helicopter, so that if someone comes looking for them, he can reach them. After that, he begins his journey and pulls the girl while she is sleeping on the sled. From time to time, he looks at the map and determines the place he is in so that he does not get lost and checks on the girl as well, then night comes and he decides to camp until the morning in order to avoid the danger of night storms, and digs in the snow and makes a cave in which to sleep. On the second day, they continue their journey until they reach the red flag they reached previously. He continues on his way until he reaches a slope with large rocks, and he is shocked because it is not. On the map, when he opens the map to be sure, he realizes that it is not really drawn, but he has no other solution. Either he climbs the slope with the girl, or he takes a very difficult and long path between the mountains and takes three days of walking. He goes up first to explore the slope and finds it open, but the problem is climbing the slope while he is dragging the girl, despite this, he ties the rope to his body and begins to pull her, but after he reaches the middle of the slope, the rope slips out of his hand, he tries again and again, but the rope escapes him every time. Fortunately, he catches it every time before the sled overturns with the girl. At that time, he decides not to risk her life and to take the long road between the mountains and begins his way pulling the sled. After a while of walking, Overgaard feels very tired and finds a cave in the mountain and decides to sleep in it for the night until the second day, he tries to feed the girl, but she is very tired and does not respond to his words, and he thinks about what to do. At that time, a polar bear attacks the cave they are in after smelling their scent inside, the bear tries to enter by any means possible, but Overgaard lights a flame of fire in his face to frighten the bear. Indeed, the bear is afraid and flees the place quickly. On the second day, Overgaard completes his route and walks a long distance, and suddenly a severe windstorm occurs, causing him to stop and hide with the girl behind the sled. After the storm ends, he moves from under the snow and takes off his gloves. He finds his hand frozen and he cannot move it, so he blows on his hand until he feels warm, and then he continues his journey, he decides to rest a little to check on the girl who is with him, and he holds her hand and asks her to press his hand, but this time she responds and does not move her hand. He notices blood pouring from her mouth, so he places her photo in her hand and decides to leave her and leave after knowing that there is no hope, then he continues his journey alone, and on the way he sees a rose in the snow between the rocks, so he contemplates it, and suddenly he falls into a hole and loses consciousness. When he wakes up, he finds himself in a cave with his foot stuck between rocks. He tries to free his trip, but to no avail, and he despairs after all his attempts fail and his leg is injured. Then he decides not to give up and tries to pull his leg out, and actually pulls it forcefully between the rocks and succeeds in doing so, then he crawls until he leaves the cave and returns again to the girl. When he reaches her, he is surprised that she is talking to him and is in good condition, he becomes upset with himself and feels guilty because he tried to leave her alone, and he leaves and begins to cry and apologize to her, promising her that he will stay by her side and not leave her, and when he sees the wound on his leg, he finds it bleeding, he puts ice on it to stop the bleeding and relieve the pain. After that, he continues on his way, tying the rope to his waist and pulling the sled while skipping with all his might, he moves slowly and with difficulty because of the snow, strong winds, and pain in his leg, meanwhile, he hears the girl coughing, so he goes to give her water. He discovers that he has run out of water, so he eats some ice and fills the bottle with it. He marks their location on the map and thinks, annoyed, that if it were not for the slope, he would have reached his destination, then he continues on his way and we see him fall to the ground from extreme exhaustion and lie on his back to rest a little, he thinks that he has made a great achievement and must complete his journey and not give up. At that time, he throws any tools he has with him to reduce the weight of the refrigerator and be able to pull it. He also throws away the transmitter, laughing at every time he used it and failed. Suddenly he hears a sound coming from afar, so he crawls until he climbs the mountain and sees a helicopter in the distance, he quickly goes down to drag the girl who is with him up the mountain, points to them, calls them and says that the girl they are looking for is here. But no one hears him, he uses the signal torch, ignites it, and consults them with it, but to no avail. 
He uses his last method, takes off the jacket he is wearing, and sets it on fire, hoping they will see him. But unfortunately for him, he sees the helicopter moving away from him, so he calls them desperately and asks them to come back while she is alive and here with him, in the end, he loses hope and cries while holding her, knowing that their fate is death. But despite that, he continues to talk to the girl, reassures her, and tells her that she is not alone, and that he will stay with her, hold her hand, and sleep next to her in the snow, he surrenders to the situation and awaits his fate, but... Moments later we see the helicopter landing behind them after it returned to them again. This concludes our film, we hope you liked it, whoever wants to follow us, subscribe and activate notifications.